welcome to my channel if you are new here hello you are spiritually connected with katiba that's for sure all right y'all already know by the title <laughs> they are in secret competition with you they are pathetic just pathetic and i just want to give a disclaimer if you on my channel if you're watching my channel and you don't like me kindly exit to the left this video is not for you i'm not talking about you i'm not talking to you but anyways chosen ones they are in secret competition with you they are very pathetic the thing is, you didn't even know that they was in competition with you until you found out. It ain't no telling how long they've been in competition with you. You didn't even know until you started seeing things in their reality that looks very similar to yours. Until they started telling you stuff. Until you started telling them stuff and they started talking about the very things that they're doing that's similar to what you're doing instead of listening to what it is that you're doing. I want you to know it don't matter who it is. Some of y'all mamas and y'all daddies is in competition with y'all. Thank goodness I haven't had to experience this. But some of y'all mamas and y'all daddies is in competition with y'all. Y'all family, y'all cousins, best friends. Ain't nobody excluded. When people compete, they compete. And the thing is, this is secret competition until you finally find out, until you finally realize like, wow. Oh, this is why they've been doing it. Oh, this is why they said that. You didn't even know. You didn't even know for the longest. But now you finally realize, like, wow. Oh, this is what it's been about all along. Oh, this is why they couldn't be happy for me. Oh, this is why they went and bought that car. Oh, this is why they did that. Oh, this is why they uh, dress like this. This is why they talk like that. They trying to be just like you. This is why they started that business. You didn't even know at first. It was a big, big secret. A lot of people, they still think it's a secret. They still think that you don't know. No, you know. And like I said, some of it is it's your own parents. And it doesn't matter if you a grown child. And some of y'all is in competition with, like I said, this video ain't for those people. But some people are in competition with their children. The, the child's child, the kids, they're nine year old, they're 10 year old. It really doesn't matter. Competition is competition. When somebody feeling jealous, they feeling envious, they gonna do whatever it is to try to outshine you. And you not even, like they running this imaginary race and you not even in it. <laughs> you didn't even know. They running the race on their own. They competing with themselves. That's what you've been doing. Meanwhile, they're competing with you, thinking that you in competition with them as well. Like, it's not a fair race. And you still beating them. You beating them at their own game. It's not even a fair race because you didn't even know that it was competition. You was just being you. You was just showing up for you. You was just doing stuff for you. Meanwhile, they was competing with you and still couldn't keep up. <laughs> they still couldn't keep up. You ever had somebody tell you, oh yeah, you told somebody, I did, yep, I did that too, come to find out. They was a bold-faced lie. They was a bold-faced lie. They sat up there and told you they've been out the country and now don't even got a passport. Ain't never even been on a plane. <laughs> like, what? People who are in competition with you, they will go the extra mile to make themselves seem big to make themselves seem important to make it seem like they got all of these things going on they will go the extra mile to beat you to win y'all can be having a friendly y'all can be playing a friendly game but they're going to make sure that they beat you just to say that they did just because they couldn't beat you at nothing else just because they couldn't beat you at life just because they couldn't beat you on a mental level <laughs> just because they couldn't beat you at nothing else they're going to make sure any chance that they get that they gonna outshine you they running fast you going slow slow and steady runs the race it's like the tortoise in the hair the story they running they going they gone they say oh i do this better i got this better i got more money i got a better job meanwhile you moving like this slow and steady slow and steady and you beating them. You have beat them. 
They ain't got nothing on you. They never have and they never will. They was competing with you and you didn't even know it was a competition. Because trust and believe, if you knew it, it, that it was a competition, you would have been outshined them. You could have been killed them. <laughs> you could have been got them out the game. You didn't even know it was a competition. Oh, don't let you have knew it was a competition. You would have been... You, like, if you, if they hear, and you hear, and y'all going like this, or even if they hear, and you hear, because they going off fast, and you going slow and steady, if you knew it was a competition, you would have just kicked them off to the side. You would have got them out the game. It's so funny because, like I said, you don't even know when people be in competition with you, but just listen to the things that people ask you. Listen to how they be all up in your business. Listen to how people, instead of congratulate you, they want to ask you how much did it cost. They can't even say that they proud of you or they can't even say, oh, that's cool that you got that. I admire that you got that. I like that you got that. One day I'm going to get me one of those too. I'm going to get something like that too. I plan on getting this too. No, nah. they want to say, well, how much did it cost? They count in your pockets. They in competition with you. Meanwhile, you over there minding your business. You minding your business when it comes to folks. But they in competition with you. They won't congratulate you, but they'll show ask you how much did it cost. They want to know. And they want to know how you doing what you doing. And then when they see that they can't do it exactly like you, they're going to try to get as close as possible. They're going to try to get as close as possible. People in competition with you will go the extra mile. They will do whatever it takes. They will go as far as talking down on you to people to make you look bad in the process of bigging themselves up. They will do that. <laughs> they do that. Be very, very, very aware of these people. Be aware of who you allow into your space and who you think is your friends, who you think is your family. Some people, everybody not happy for you. You might want to be cool with everybody because of who they are. You want to be cool with this person because of their title. Everybody's not happy for you. Some people are very jealous. They're jealous and they're envious because they can't do what you did. They can't figure out how you did what you did. And even if they know how you did what you did, they don't have the confidence and they know that they won't be able to do what you did. They can't get what you got, so they want yours. And if they can't get yours, then they don't want you to have it at all. So they'd rather see you hurting and they're gonna take it from you, however that looks. And whichever way that looks, whether that's something like joy and happiness, they will, they will steal that from you. They would try their best to steal that from you because they don't have it within themselves. When people are jealous and envious of things like your happiness, they would try to tear you down because they don't have that within themselves because they don't know how to be happy themselves because they don't know how to love themselves. They don't know how to care for themselves. But when it comes to materialistic things, you best believe they're going to get that too. Oh, you just bought a house? They gonna go out and buy a house. It don't matter how old they, they could be 75 years old. <laughs> they could be 75 years old. Don't let you have bought no house and they in competition with you. They gonna go buy a house too. Not because they want a house, because they wanna outshine you. They wanna show that they're better than you. Not knowing that materialistic things don't make you better than me. It don't make them better than you. That's not how the way, that's not the way the game goes. The thing is, you're always going to be winning. Because you're the one with the wisdom. You're the one with the knowledge. All they can do is copy. They don't know how to be original. They don't have no creative energy. They ain't got no creative juices. They don't got no goals. They don't got no plans. All they can do is copy you. So and all they can do is copy others. So when they can't do that, they don't have nothing. They don't know, they don't have no sense of self. They ain't got that in them. They don't got what you got. You can't compete where you don't compare. 
you can't compete where you don't compare. And a lot of people be out here in secret competition and they don't even compare to the next person. How are you going to compete with somebody and you don't even compare to them? Your mindset ain't got nothing on theirs. Your talent ain't got nothing on theirs. They can go and try to do it all they want. They'll probably fail at it. They probably won't look good in it. <laughs> it probably ain't for them. Like I said, they probably can't even do it like you do it. So all they can do is get close. All they can do is look like they trying to be like you. That's all they can do. All they can do is hate. Because they ain't got nothing else on you. Because they ain't got nothing else better to do. They so focused on your plate, they ain't realizing they spaghetti just flipped up off of their plate, sliding off their plate. Be very aware of these type of people. These people are dangerous, okay? These people are very dangerous. They can be very dangerous because they can smile in your face and they can talk behind your back. And like I said, it doesn't matter who it is. Somebody who wants to compete with you, somebody who's jealous and envious of you, they will do whatever it takes to bring you down. They don't care about you. They act like they care about you, but they want what you got. They can be your friend and sleep with your man. They can do all type of stuff. It's, it's, it's no limits. And it's only, I, I think like the amount of envy and jealousy is gonna dictate how far these people will go. Nobody is exempt. They jealous of you, they jealous of their mama. They jealous of their sister. They in competition with their sister. Trying to outshine the next person. Doing things for others just for clout. Not because they love them or not because they want to do things for them. Doing things to say that they did it. Doing things to feed their own ego. Doing things because they're not only in competition with you, but they're in competition with their child. They're in competition with their sister. They're in competition with their mother. And this is why they're doing these things. Not out of love, not out of care. They're doing it to show up the next person. they bringing you down. they trying to throw dirt on your name and bring you down just to make themselves look good. Cause guess what? In that same breath, they talking about what they didn't did. They'll sit there and ask you about what you got going on and in the same breath tell you their accomplishment. Was this about me or was this about you wanting to get your stuff off? If that's the case, you could have just got your stuff off. But really don't nobody care about your stuff. Nobody asks you about your stuff. <laughs> nobody asks you. They are in secret competition with you and it's very pathetic. They ain't never did it like you. They ain't never had what you had. They ain't never experienced a relationship like you have. They ain't never got love like you got. They ain't never raised a child like you have. These people are in secret competition with you. They are very pathetic, okay? I mean, that's just one word to sum it up, to sum them up. They do not have the interest of no one, the best interest of no one at heart, because it's all about them. It's all about their image. They don't really care. Like, they don't really care about the next person. If it ain't about how it could benefit them in the process, screw you so how do you deal with these people going forward well it's a couple different options but my main thing is that you don't you don't have to you don't have to put up with that type of behavior you don't have to have people around you who secretly don't like you who secretly hate you 
who you can't trust because you can't trust these people. How could you trust these people? They've shown you who they are. Or you can put up with these people from a distance. You can love them from a distance. If it's somebody who you love, somebody you care for. But if you don't have to deal with these people, mm, no, I suggest that you don't, okay? I suggest that you don't. So that's all I have for this video. If it resonates, y'all know what to do. <laughs> if you're new here to this channel, I do invite you to hit that subscribe button. Stay spiritually you, stay spiritually into, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.